Thank you so much for watching Tomohuji the Music. That was my uh, song called Just Funky. Today's lesson, I want to focus on how to learn notes a little bit more correctly. Way. So in other words, people play sometimes like wrong notes, wrong form, and believing that's right. And this type of a video, as you see, like a very popular, and I thought maybe I would challenge to do this one. You know, I don't have an editing process, but, uh, you know, I'm going to just keep moving. So num number one, this is just funky. For example, beginning, obviously, if you play this, that's a major. If this is a minor. This one, number one, this is called sus two. So what's, what's going on? Open, root, fifth, root, la. Ninth, you know, sus two. So no third, no major third. So the reason is, what happened was I wrote this song right after Boston Best Guitarist Competition. I came in, you know, uh, running uh, third place, right? So what happened was I made up a little bit kind of funky riff for the audition tape. Then I got into audition. Then each round I got got more, be you know, uh, toward the end. So. Everybody back then, this is a late, late 80s, in the early 90s, I think 1990, I think I, I, I won the contest, uh, you know, the third place, you know. So, so what happened was, everybody using overdrive, you know, like after Van Halen, you know, play, you know, which is nice, you know, but then I had to do something different. So I came up with the idea that, um, you know, funky, so this is what I did. I play funk rhythm. Slap guitar, blues guitar, jazz guitar, walking bass line. I mix five, six things all together in two minutes because contest was only two minutes and a half. I think once you go over that, you fail, you know. So I practice with metronome every day. Just make sure how many bars, how many beats I play exactly less than two minutes and a half. I think I have a video somewhere. And so then, then I had already this one. That kind of riff I already have but then if I play that there's no intro so I have to come up so in order to use open strings you know like this Right, like that. So I just took that. Then, so basically, keep open string. Okay. So right here, a lot of people make like mistakes because people really thinking about major, major chords, diminish, like that. But then I play like this, major six nine. Okay, like that, and then. A sharp diminish and go to A over B. So that part's probably easy to get. Then, right? Then this is tough. F13, 13 with a 9. Root, 7, 3rd, 13, and 9. Now here, this is hard too, right? Because you have A. And uh, in a bar chorus, and the G in the bottom. This is really nice chord. I love this chord. This is E over G sharp. So G sharp is a bass. Third is a bass, and you have a root five root, like a power chord. You know. This same. If you want to learn these details, I have detailed lessons at the Guitar Wisdom. And you can learn that all the detail. And then funny part is this, you know, this part. And Instagram, a lot of people tag me, and then I really appreciate that, and I always, you know, uh, repost those. And um, this is incorrect. We like. 
a lot of people just use the triads, you know, then that's incorrect, like the like that. And then people used to try it like that. So technically, this coming for blues. This is not. <laughs> this is now part of uh, this uh, lesson. Nothing to do with lesson, right? That's the one. Good type. So anyway, so then here, this is D, but I use a second inversion, and then one four. So if you play that same one. So this is a part a lot of people hit the wrong notes. So okay. Four one. Hide away. Hide away chord. This is dominant seven. Oops. Like those. This is a really important seventh. Yeah. So like this minor triad. Like you know, I have a lot of lessons to guitar with them. Really useful, you know. This is really good. So anyway, so you wanna learn now? You know how to play right. This is probably I learned from Hiram. Hiram Bullock, you know. See, each part I learn from somebody, they can mix it all together. Yeah? Language. E, D, A, G. Like that. Okay, so that's enough for Just Funky. And then next one, it's like, you know, simple chords, like kind of jazz chords. Okay, this is all wrong, a lot of people. This is A minor to D ninth. Correct way is... Wrong way. See, what happens is people look at this tablature or fingering with the video. Then pressing your first, second finger a little too heavy. So ended up, you pressing the fifth string. That's totally wrong, but you have to really hear that. That's correct. This is wrong. You don't need a fourth, you know, for A minor. This one too. See, now this chord, for the funk or jazz or blues, root, third, flat seven, nine, fifth, major third. So this is a wrong one. If you play that almost a sport, you're playing.
So that's sus4, but you see, you want to play 9. Like that, that's like um, West Montgomery, 4 on 6, you know, right? So, so really important, what notes you press, okay? And this one, typical intro, like E minor 9. So right note is this. Open, 2nd fret, 4th fret, open. Then, 3rd fret, 5th fret, like that. The funny part is, when people see this one, immediately people think D, B minor 7. This is kind of wrong one, all people play. See, that's not the right sound. You have to have... Now, now you, you know, this A minor. This is really nice A minor, I learned when I was young. So like, open, 5th fret, 5th fret, 0, 0, that's it. And you're expecting, you know, comes up with those tablature. I don't have any tablature because I don't edit anything. Like that, okay. This one too, a lot of people like this. People think this is kind of same, but really different, you know. See this one, open. So you learn, guitar chords sounds great with open so. Now here, watch here, right? So you put your second and third finger on the fourth and the third string, fifth fret. And I give you magic. This is magic. Don't tell, don't teach this to anybody, okay? Because you, you want to keep this magic in a small group of people. So now this finger, same fingering, and you can make major seventh. How you do that? This is magic. Don't watch. Here we go. You see? This way, minor. This way, it's major. <laughs> what do you think? So please write your fever comment here. Mine. And happy again. I'm happy. I'm sad. Happy again. I'm sad. Like that, you know, so. Okay, so let's go next one. Uh, oh, I, I, I'm sorry, I ran, on, I ran out of idea. So this is a good, good time to think about if you don't run out of idea, but this is important. See, kind of hard to do. Yes. Remember, please, no matter what, don't worry. And Keep working, but
Don't compare. Yes. And don't expect too fast. We do. Special adult, you guys are very smart. So sometimes don't be smart. And always, always be kind to yourself. Very important. Because because human we are very fragile and so many so many tough time happy time and we all have some sort of depression of, of course we all have that too and we have to deal with a lot of things every day it's not easy you know so please be kind to yourself then don't don't rush too much you know of course we have to keep working hard definitely not easy way to out but you can't just decide you know too much oh I gotta be this I gotta be that you know slowly everything uh, takes time and plus for example um, hope you don't mind talk to you a little bit about you know things like you know YouTube Twitter Facebook and you know uh, so many things um, I like a, um, Instagram because it's kind of fun to see other musicians doing all my students are doing my fans are doing that's great to communicate with the people to see things right and so many ways to do it again once you compare with somebody of course you go like oh no i don't have any follow see that's those numbers doesn't number doesn't do to me you know eventually because what if we lost all the electricity then nothing leave nothing nothing leaves so you have to write music while you write something on a paper while you communicate with your friends you have to do something more than just you know reading or posting but also um you know could be competitive but like for example i do my own tweet and i do instagram but i try to do like maybe like you know one one post a day at least you know then come up something creative so i think about it usually like this video for example i think this always when i take a shower because when i take a shower I love to put a lot of lights on. My wife always f make fun of me, but I put the three lights on and very bright and then bright and then take a shower, hot shower, and I clear my hair. Then think about maybe I should do this video, maybe fun. Then that's how it, this is what I did today. <laughs> you know, yeah. And then um, I don't use any uh, promotion. I don't use any paid promotion. I think. I thought about a little bit. I mean, Actor Melody or, you know, Paul David, so those guys, you know, I guess the I see Instagram or Facebook, they pay the promotion. I mean, they pay and, you know, promotion. I'm sure they're doing great in business, so they have a budget to do it, you know, but uh, I'm not big like that. So um, I do my own way. And uh, sometimes people offer me a lot of uh, things like, you know, okay, I can promote you, you know, Facebook, I promote you, uh, YouTube, and this and that. But um, I think, like for example, one of my stu great students, uh, music is when you know Tyler Lawson. He does everything by himself. He doesn't he doesn't pay anybody to do any promotion, but he's doing great. So I thought, okay, I'm just do organic way, natural way, as much every day, just to do work every day. So that's why um, episode like you know two three videos before I showed you notebook. See, I have a notebook. You know, this is studying something new, and then this this is backing track, and then this is a note right here. Is um and now I can take it out. See, I wrote what to do for this video. So video idea, I write this, and then daily things I write here so that everything what I have to do, I look at this one, and then you know if I finish, you know cross out. If I don't finish, keep writing. So keep pushing. So in other words, if I don't write, nothing will happen. So this is my kind of a, you know, uh, saying like you always say to my students: If you don't do anything, nothing will happen. Nothing. So don't worry. If you don't do anything, nothing will happen. You know, no harm. But if you do something, if you decide to do something, something will happen. So that's what I like about. It's, it's a, supposedly, if I don't do anything, nothing will happen. 
but then I want to make something happen. So that's why I try to do. And then what happened was, this is great too, 300,000 followers in YouTube. That's, I think, really amazing. So thank you so much, everyone. You guys are really awesome because you guys really helped me to get to this level. Then I want to keep going. So let me share more fun guitar idea and lifestyles. Thank you so much. And this is uh, Kanji Guitar. So, could you leave your comment below? What do you think about this guitar? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> this is Kanji Guitar. One, you know, lifetime guitar, right? Like, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. So this is my style. Sorry, talk a little bit too much, but why not? Why not? So no editing, no nothing. Just press. So when I finish, right here in the corner, I just press. That's it. Okay, thank you so much. Leave your comment. I love to read your feedback. So see you soon. Enjoy.